Well, we're learning more today as cleanup efforts continue after a major diesel spill off Manistee's coastline. News 8's Megan Bunchman joins us now with steps the Coast Guard could take to clean up the spill and what experts from the state are saying. Megan? Well, just before 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon, a call went out to all stations near Manistee as a motor vessel Manitowoc reported a break in its hull and its diesel fuel leaking into Lake Michigan. A multi-agency response continues today about a mile and a half off the city of Manistee's coastline as the Coast Guard and other environmental responders monitor and section off a major fuel spill spanning nearly two miles wide. The tank itself held 45,000 gallons. Um, a lot of that was pumped out of the tank into other tanks to lower the level below the below the breach in the tank. Um, so it definitely wasn't anywhere near the, the full tank. Hugh McDermott with Eagle told News 8 that the hole in the ship's hull is temporarily fixed. But until crews can adequately repair it, the 612-foot carrier and part of the diesel spill have been sectioned off using booms. The self-unloading vessel is about 50 years old. It was bought by Rand Logistics back in 2000 and has since been used to transport grain, iron ore, salt, and similar cargo across Lake Michigan. They are definitely monitoring them and assessing, uh, you know, both the direction of the flow of the sheen and also kind of uh, keeping aware of, of the beaches in case any should, should uh, uh, you know, end up on shore, in which case uh, local officials did take action. While officials still don't know how much diesel leaked into Lake Michigan, McDermott said the closest water intake from Lake Michigan is 27 miles south of the spill, and the wind is currently moving the sheen or diesel spill north. Um, the city of Manistee is on groundwater, so they do not have an intake in Lake Michigan. Um, so we're confident that drinking water is fully protected. Um, you know, the other aspect is ensuring people don't come in contact with it. At the time of the breached hull, the vessel was anchored a little more than a mile and a half offshore. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, major diesel spills can be isolated using booms and then skimmed using specific boats, burned, or dispersed using chemicals dropped from overhead planes. As of this afternoon, McDermott said the fuel was still a half mile offshore and not expected to reach area beaches. As for curious sailors and boaters in the area, well, the Coast Guard has vessels out there warning boaters away from it. Now, we just heard from the Coast Guard. We'll hear and bring you what they said and the next stops that may be taken coming up at 5. For more on this story, head on over to our website, woodtv.com. Rick.